Every year, millions of people come from across the world to visit Britain's built and natural heritage. From its unspoilt coastlines and picturesque villages to our castles, country houses and national parks. Today, over 400,000 structures and sites and a quarter of our landscape are protected for us to enjoy now and in the future. Made largely possible by the work of Britain's pioneering conservation movement, which began in the mid-19th century. In 1882, when the first Heritage Act came about, only 18 archaeological sites and monuments were protected, all of them prehistoric. By 1931, around 1,500 sites and structures in England had been scheduled as campaigning and legislation gathered pace, and over 20,000 scheduled monuments are protected today. In 1947, the devastation of World War II bombing led to a second type of government protection, listing. And by the end of the decade, two and a half thousand buildings of special historic or architectural value were listed. As the century progressed, listing became more extensive and inclusive, from country houses, palaces and important religious buildings, to our famous telephone boxes, our war memorials and the best post-war examples. 370,000 buildings and structures are listed today. By 1949, the public's fight for access to the countryside led to the creation of national parks, stimulated also by the growing impact of the car, and in 1956, the designation of areas of outstanding beauty. During the 1960s, dramatic changes caused by post-war development led to conservation areas being designated, mainly to protect townscapes as a whole. This was followed by registered wrecks in 1973, parks and gardens, and the first of our 17 World Heritage Sites in 1983, and finally registered battlefields from 1995. If we now fly down to London to where England's greatest concentration of heritage assets lie, we can see its 156 scheduled monuments and nearly 19,000 listed buildings, mainly clustered at its heart. We can also see the distribution of just over a 1,000 conservation areas, 150 registered parks and gardens, London's four World Heritage Sites, and its single registered battlefield. Our ability today to map and animate our protected assets and to digitally analyse the character of the historic landscape as a whole helps support a more effective approach to the protection of our heritage for the future.